I think this illustrates again the dangers of misinformation. A conservative candidate is walking back controversial comments he made earlier about COVID-19 and the highly infectious Delta variant just before the federal election. On Tuesday, Ted Falk, incumbent candidate for Provence, was quoted in a local newspaper distributed throughout his riding as saying you were 13 times more likely to die from the Delta variant if you were double vaccinated than if you were unvaccinated. Falk says his comments were in reference to a public health study. However, now that the article has been published, he's issued a written apology. I would like to correct erroneous comments I made when referencing a study on COVID vaccines. The statistics I quoted were not correct. Vaccines are safe and effective. I have and will continue to be an advocate for getting vaccines to every Canadian who wants one. I apologize for any confusion caused by my comments. Interpreting data is not that straightforward, particularly when you're comparing uh, changes over time because circumstances have changed. Epidemiologist Cynthia Carr says tons of people are independently researching COVID-19 and receiving data from multiple sources, some good and some bad. However, she says even when you get your hands on a good scientific study, it can be hard to fully understand what you're looking at. Because frankly, it's not all that straightforward. Um, and, you know, there can be uh, just honest and reasonable uh, misinterpretations of data. Uh, but what we don't need is for those misinterpretations for those misinterpretations uh, then to be shared as fact and to discourage people uh, from doing the best thing for their health and well-being, which is getting vaccinated. I, I guess he understood that maybe he didn't get all the facts right, which we're all, we're all human and we can make mistakes. He apologized and that should be good. We all make mistakes. City News spoke with several people in Falk's riding about his comments. The majority tell us they felt like Falk walked back on what he said, but accept his apology. They also acknowledged Falk's riding is experiencing issues of divide over the vaccine and is creating tension within the community, businesses, and between neighbours. Yep, unfortunately it is. Yeah, even friends. Diane Turen lives in Falk's riding and she doesn't like the segregation that's happening between those choosing to get the vaccine and those who aren't in her community. Right now, Falk's riding has some of the lowest rates of vaccine uptake in the province, sitting at 64.7%. She says when it comes to Falk, she feels he has worked well for his constituents. He is a very good man, so I do appreciate what he's done in our area. And I don't, I know he doesn't mean any harm to anyone? In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.